this is around the fifth time that um, I attempt to make this video. This topic and um, what I'm going through is very difficult to discuss. But this is the reason that I started this channel. I started this channel with him in mind. I want to be able to help someone out there that may be struggling. Maybe you don't have anybody to talk to. Or you're contemplating taking your life. Or you know someone that has. On June 2nd of 2017, I lost my son. He was just 21 years old. A beautiful boy, humble and loving and caring and so, so, so smart. I know in my heart he was meant for great things. I'm gonna show you a picture of my baby boy. This is my son, my beautiful boy. On June 2nd of 2017. I was home with my son and my youngest. I was in my room and I heard the front door and I called out, is that you, Alfred? And he responded, yes, mom. And I told him, don't forget you have to take Shadow a bath today. Shadow was our dog who also passed away soon, soon after. And he responded, later mama. Those were the last words that I heard from my son. I proceeded to clean the house. I was in the bedroom and I just was cleaning there. I mean, that's where I was at and that's where I had started. Eventually that would lead me to in front of his door where I thought he was in his bedroom. And um, once I got there, I looked and um, he wasn't there. So I asked my young one who was in her bedroom, have you seen Alfred? And she said, no, mom. I immediately felt like something was wrong. I started looking for him and I couldn't find him. 
And when I couldn't find him, something told me, go in the garage. But I was already so scared. I went and I proceeded to go to the garage. The lights was off. Everything was quiet. And something told me turn on the lights. Which I did. I turned on the lights. I couldn't see him. I went further in. He had barricaded himself with some furniture. As I looked carefully in the garage, I saw him. I saw my baby. I saw my baby. He had hung himself in the garage. He had committed suicide. This happened June 2nd, 2017. And it's still so fresh in my heart. I miss my baby so much. He didn't suffer from depression. He didn't suffer from anxiety. This was a pretty much all of a sudden type thing where he felt so hurt. He felt so hurt and so much pain. I never in a million years would have thought that he would take his life. <laughs> Suicide. X affects everyone that's involved. You may be struggling with thoughts of suicide. You're not alone. After this tragedy, I became one of you guys. But I also know the other side, how it affects the people that love you. Suicide affects the survivors. Life, life will never be the same for me. And I pray that with this outlet and putting my story out there, I can help someone. I'm still going through the shock of it all. I, I missed my baby so much. I 
now go into more details as time goes on. But I'll show you some more pictures of my baby. <laughs> me with him. He was a twin. This is Alfred and this is my other baby Alex. <laughs> Who's suffering so much. He misses his brother. <laughs> this is Alfred. This is Alfred for prom. This is all of us. <laughs> this was Alfred. <laughs> Getting ready to go to his cousin's wedding. small family pictures that's his older sister who is also suffering so much forever my angel forever my angel Life is precious. If you're out there and you see my video, and you are going through pain, unimaginable suffering, I want you to know you're so valuable. You're so loved. <laughs> I'll continue. this video with more information later on as you can imagine this is this has taken a toll on me and my family we miss him with all our hearts I want to get to a place in my life where I'm living for me again. <laughs> I live now for my kids. I would never, ever want to cause them more pain. But if I can help, even if it's just one person out there, <laughs> then
this will all be worth it. Don't suffer in silence. Reach out. <laughs> Reach out to someone. And if you have no one to talk to, reach out to the suicide hotline or email me or comment down below but you're not alone I pray that my son would have known that <laughs> if he would have only thought about the consequences of his actions. I know he would have had <laughs> I had to take a few minutes. And I know that you guys might have more questions and what happened and stuff like that. Little by little, it'll come out. But I don't want his death to be in vain. He had a tag, Alfredology. gonna be a big business he was always looking into a a quick business thing going on after his graduation he was so bright but I don't want his death to be in vain So if you're a parent who's going through this unimaginable pain, I'm here for you. I know what you're going through. And if you are out there suffering, like I said before, you're not alone. Trust me. Things always can get better. Get help. I plead with you. Get help. Talk to someone. Don't suffer in silence. After my son's death, it seems like I was bombarded with so many people taking their lives. It's sad that you can get to a place in your life that makes you believe that death is the answer. I will forever miss my son. My children will forever miss their brother. I don't want this to happen to no other families. If you know someone who's going through a hard time, reach out. Don't ever think this can happen, not in my family, because I was one of them. This is something you hear about in the news happening to other people until you become one of them. 
I would have given my whole life to bring my son back. As time goes by, I'll share more. Be kind to one another. Don't take anyone for granted. I think about your actions. Hurting people is not okay. I will forever have my baby in my heart. And I will miss him forever. But like I said, if my story can help anyone, then his death won't be in vain. From my heart, from the bottom of my heart, my sincere wishes is that there should be more love in the world. May God bless you all. Love one another. Don't take each other for granted. Life is just too short.